Hey, I'm Arielle Castillo and this is MLS Now. Gotta hand it to Didier Drogba for getting right down to business. He's about to make his MLS debut just a few weeks after landing in Montreal. Let's face it, you all know who Didier Drogba is. I mean, so does Rihanna, so does Snoop Dogg, and so does friend to all one percenters, Bono. So while we wait to see what kind of impact he makes with the impact, the Drogba hurricane has already landed off the pitch. <laughs> The guy has got serious game off the field, of course. Here is a brief history of how Drogba's godlike status has affected pop culture at large. By the mid-2000s, he was already dominating the Premier League with Chelsea, racking up league titles, FA Cup titles and records, and steering the Ivory Coast national team to the 2006 World Cup. So along the way, he inspired a viral hit in his home country called Drogba Cité, which came along with its own dance. <laughs> That has to have helped somehow when, in the middle of all of that in 2007, the man basically single-handedly brokered peace in his home country, the Ivory Coast, getting opposite sides in a civil war to agree to a ceasefire after five years. Yep, basically just like that. Your move, world politicians. Maybe Drogba can do, like, peacemaking mercenary work on commission. Back in England, though, he still had the energy to spread joy through his knack for dance. Behold, a special Chelsea locker room move with David Luiz. Then there was that time he found all that free time to star in this music video for a French singer, Julia Channel. And he also managed to start a band with Florent Maluda that was supposedly influenced by Coldplay. On the style side of things, Drogba elevated shark skin suits. Oh, sorry, that's tonic suits over in the UK to the next level all while reminding us again of his dancing prowess. <laughs> he even made lederhosen look kinda cool. I mean, that's definitely why fans created this Drogba dance video, right? Wait, here he is earlier this year dancing a backup for Christina Milian, along with Eden Hazard. You have to love a time when the backup dancers on stage are more famous than the supposed star. So we can rock and take and night all night, yeah. Oh yeah, and through all of that, you know, he started a foundation and built a hospital in Abidjan. Nice. So no matter what happens in Drogba's MLS debut, we know we can at least expect some more fancy footwork somewhere. <laughs>